This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So guys, once again, still we are in basic setting itself. So now in previous session, it means still now what we have covered, we have covered like apps, app covered like posting period variant, risk clear variant, and field status variant. These three things, these three settings we have done. And I have also explained the logic behind this, like what, why we are going to do this configurations. Okay. Now what next guys? So the next topic is, next topic is number range. Okay. It's, it's very simple configuration is there guys. But now again, I'll explain why do we set up this number range. So I'll tell you guys in SAP, what is happening? Whichever transactions are getting posted, whatever transactions are getting posted, uh, let's suppose a very simple uh, JV, I'll, I'll tell you here like rent account. Okay. Rent account is going to be debited worth of any amount. Okay. Thousand, whatever currency it is, USD, INR, or any other, whatever the currency are there. Okay. So now rent account debited, and then your bank account is credited. If this is the entry. In the sense, this is the transaction. So let's about let's suppose a rent related transaction we are going to post. So whichever transactions are getting posted in SAP, guys, whatever transactions are getting posted in SAP, for every transaction system is going to generate. If you save that transaction system is going to generate a transaction number. A transaction number is going to be generated, guys. Let's suppose for this transaction, for this transaction, what is happening? System is going to generate a transaction number. This is like this is the transaction number. One thousand or it's like a number could be anything guys so if you talk about like again like if you are going to post our next transactions then system is going to generate the next transaction number 1001 right the next transaction number will be like 1002 1003 so now here the question is how system is getting and why how system is generating this transaction number and why it is 1000 only why it is 1001 1002 1003 right so generally what is happening guys this number range first of all th this transaction number will be generated only if we define a number range you must have to define a number range because if you post a transactions then transaction number must be generated right now how system is going to generate the transaction number system is not going to take decisions automatically right so what is happening system is going to generate the transaction number only if you set up a number range first so what we have to do at the time of posting transactions what number is getting generated guys what number will be generated for that we have to define a number range okay this number range could be anything like 1000 to 1999 let's suppose this number range i have given okay in real time uh, this is a very small number range guys in real time what will happen in real time uh, such kind of number range will not be there in real time the number range length will be 10 digits okay so this is that 10, 10 digit length is a huge length which is not possible uh, you know it, it is not possible to consume now so here this is uh, i'm going to give a small small range here small uh, length i'm going to give and small range i'm going to give so that see what is the benefit of small uh, range guys and a small length if you are going to give four digit length then easily you'll be able to remember like what is the document number which got generated because right now you guys are doing practice isn't it so make better to use a simple thing so that at least you'll be having idea you you you're able to understand you will be able to understand the uh, logic right so now here let's suppose uh we are going to so document whatever transactions are getting posted guys that projections will be after posting the transactions a number is getting generated and that number is getting generated from where so for that we have to define a number range whichever transactions are getting posted in sap guys right those transactions are called document it means while if you post a transactions that is called like i'm posting a transactions i can say i'm posting a document every transaction is called document number so what will happen guys now so after posting a transactions system is generating a transaction number so if transaction is called document transaction number will be called document number so in sap language what will happen guys transactions are going to be called as a documents and transaction numbers are going to be called as a document number so now from this time onwards what will happen guys i will talk i'll tell document okay and document number so once i says document it means 
I am saying about a transaction and document number means transaction number. So now here that is what. Uh, so here what we have to do first of all, we have to create a number range. Why number range guys? Because I told you whatever transactions are getting posted or whatever uh, document so called documents are getting posted for that system will generate a document number. So this generated from where? For that you have to define a number range so i'm going to give a small range and that is small length okay so that it will be easy to remember uh, generally in real time what is happening in real time in the sense once you become a consultant then the number range length will be like 10 digit length will be there so now how to define the number range guys for that we are going to use a transaction code fbn1 i'll repeat here once again there are multiple uh, trainer guys uh, who is going to use the path I'm using transaction code. I will repeat again, guys. Neither path nor transaction code is going to make you a perfect consultant. Neither you'll be able to remember path nor you'll be able to remember transaction code as well. If you do the practice and all, then only you'll be able to remember the transaction codes or path and all, right? Uh, it's it's okay. But if you if you don't do the practice for five days, ten days and all, then what will happen? You'll be forgetting path also, and you're going to forget the transaction codes also, right? But the logic, if you are able to understand and all that, you will never forget in your entire life. Okay. So now here, don't worry. Like, okay, these many codes are there, or these many parts are there. So how to remember? In real time, what is happening, guys? In real time, also you guys will be having configuration documents. Okay. So in configuration documents, you'll be having path also. You'll be having projects and codes as well. Now here. Uh, or else like uh, even if you're uh, if you've forgotten any transaction code if you want to search it you can search it from google very easily this is what even we are also doing in our uh, you know even though i'm having like 12 plus years of experience still there are certain transactions code which i'm also not able to remember where i'm going to get it from easily i'm going to do it uh, google search and all and immediately i'm going to get it so now here uh, how to define this number range guys use transaction code fbn1 fbn1 transaction code i'm going to uh, here the number of transaction code even like whatever sequence I am following guys you also follow the same sequence in this sequence itself even in real time if you talk about the configure uh, uh, implementations and all so in real time also we are following the same sequence exactly with whatever I am following here in real time also we are going to follow the same sequence so you note it down you make your own uh, you just have a notebook and you can note down at least the transaction codes and all so that Easily later on you can do the practice now. So every n1 transaction code you have to use use transaction code every n1 and then I think uh, the screen is hanged. So let me create one more session. Okay, let me check it Okay, I'll have to I think I'll have to log in one more second guys Okay. Wait, I think here I was supposed to log in. I logged into a different server. So let me close it. Okay. So my settings are there in this server. So now here, FBN1 transaction code. Here you can select, here you can click on this drop down. So look at here, last 15 transactions code will be already available here. Your last 15 transactions code will be already available. So no need to give every time transaction code, guys. Here you can be able to select it okay now fbn1 transaction code you have to use and give your company code your company code tm00 and then you need to click on intervals okay here first of all you have to give a code this whatever number range is getting created guys you have to give a code give a code 01 and for which year it is getting created so i'll tell you guys number range is getting created every year it means whatever range i'm going to give that is valid for one year itself one financial year it is going to be valid right so here i have given let's suppose 2020 and from i said like small length only i'm going to give so i'll give 1000 to 1999 okay 
and then press enter so once you press enter look at here as i told you the number is number in length will be 10 digit so what is happening since i have used only four digit so before that six zero has been added by sap it's okay before this 1000 even if six zero or uh, 10 zero is going to be added it doesn't have any what to say value right after after this one if we are going to add the zero then of course it is having a value now so here 10 digit number range is going to be set up in real time i have used four digit only so that it will be easy to remember your document number whichever is getting posted that you can be able to remember now save it control s okay now one more thing i have to explain here guys so as i told you like whatever document uh, whatever the number range is there that is going to be set up every year now 2020 i have set up one number range now in 2021 what is happening so this range is going to be expired this range is going to be expired in 2021 what will happen guys again we have to create a new number range new number range doesn't mean that now you are going to give a different range range like 2000 to 2 triple line no in new year also what is happening guys in the next financial year again the same code you are going to give only the year will be different okay and then again 1000 to 1 triple line we can use it you press enter system is going to allow okay and again from next year onwards again system is going to start system will generate system will generate the what to say uh, document number from this range in the sense again from 1000 onwards system is going to generate the document number now now there will be a confusion in the sense like there might be a question in your mind that for 2020 also we have generated let's suppose document number five and even in 2021 also document number is 1005 how it is going to be differentiated so guys whenever you are going to see a particular let's suppose particular documents so if you see a particular document practically i think uh, anyway we have not posted any transactions because uh, still uh, multiple uh, configurations we have to do once we do uh, some more configurations we have to do and after that i'll post the transactions so how we are going to see the document number guys if you see the document number you have to give the document number you have to give your company code and even financial year also you have to give so if you are going to give company code financial year and then document number then what is happening guys the company code tm00 your financial year is let's suppose 2020 and then you have given a document number this one right i'll just do one thing to make it like this so now and for this document number again tm00 financial year 2021 and then this document number so if this combination and this combination both are different so easily system is going to trigger see against 1005 whatever transactions we have posted in 2020 that is going to be visible that you can that that is going to be shown by system and again in 2021 what is happening guys against this document type whatever transaction got posted system is going to show you that right so it's pretty simple right nothing to be so uh and even as i told you like practically also once i post the transactions i'll show you guys so that you'll be having perfect understanding so what we have done we have okay so by this time i'll just do one thing i'll remove this 2021 and then save it now then we are having one more thing now here we are having nr status nr status means what guys this is called number range status now the question is the question is how sap how sap will be able to remember the document number okay document number in the sense let's suppose i have given this code this range 1000 to 1999 the first document which got generated is 1000 the next one is 1001 again next one is 1002 now the question is if we are going to post like this is first projections and second projections the third third projects if you are going to post the fourth projections the system is going to generate document number 1003 now the question is why 1003 itself why not 1005 why not 1010 how sap will be able to remember that the last document number which was posted is uh you know to 1002 only 
so that the next no document number will be 1003 right this is the logical question is there right so here uh, now what is happening here guys so of course system is sap is going to remember these things with the help of nr status the moment the first document number got created once first document number got generated immediately automatically sap is going system is going to update that one document number 1000 here in number in status okay again next time what is happening next time if the transaction is getting posted then what will happen system is going to find out system is going to check the range first of all okay 1000 to 1999 so from this range which document number got already like generated here so system is going to find 1000 here will be already updated so what is the next one 1000 1000 plus one so next document number is getting generated see whenever we post a transaction system is going to check the number range right uh, i'll explain in more details guys once i post the transactions system is going to check the number range from this number range what is happening so system found like this is the number range we have okay from this range which number is supposed to be generated so right now in our status it means number in status is zero so zero means what will happen guys zero means the first number so what is the smallest number in this range guys so that is 1000 so 1000 is going to be generated so here once the 1000 got generated system automatically update this 1000 here so in our status got updated updated here and now the nr status become 1000 so once you post the next next transaction second transaction system is going to check again number range and in that what is the nr status so system is able to system is able to see here that nr status it means number in status is updated with document number 1000 so now sap will come to know that 1000 document number already generated what should be the next document number guys quite simple next document number means 1000 plus 1 so now here 1001 is getting generated the moment 1001 got generated immediately this 1001 is getting updated again here in nr status number and status right again if you are going to post the next document then what will happen 1002 is going to be generated this is how this is how the document numbers are getting generated in sequence okay now there might be some more question in your mind like what will happen if the number this number range whichever we have given is going to be consumed do we need to create a new number range so of course you can create a new number range but generally what is happening guys in real time we are giving such a huge number range guys 10 digit i, I told you 10 digit number range right it is not possible to consume in one year even though the biggest organizations of the world also is there right uh, guys still they won't be able to consume because this is a huge number it's impossible to consume this kind of number range we are going to give in real time that is why 10 digit number range we are going to give here as i told you like small range i have given small length I have given so that we will be able to remember that what document number got generated right now what was the previous document number got generated it will be easy to remember if you're going to give 10 digit code then not possible to remember now so this is what the logic behind nr status number and status now we are having this is called external assignment a checkbox if you're going to apply a check mark here if you're going to apply a check mark here then what is happening this is called external number range external number range means what will happen guys external number range means if you're applying a check mark here then while transaction posting system will not be able to determine the document number automatically okay in that case user has to give the document number manually user is going to give the document number manually if you're going to give document number manually in that case like what is happening guys what is the uh, problem it's it is a bit difficult to maintain the sequence right what was the previous document number either you have to come here and then you have to check it or else you need to note down somewhere so that you'll be able to remember right so external number is what is happening guys better not to apply a check mark here on external number range if there is any kind of requirement by client that no uh, you just do one thing you do such a things like while posting a transaction site transaction uh, what while posting the transactions while posting a document i want to give number uh, transaction number i want to give manually in that case only we are going to apply a check mark or is better not to apply a check mark 
so here initially what i'll recommend guys don't apply the check mark first of all you uh, do the configurations perform the testing once you become perfect in this entire what is say configurations and all and later on you can play like anything in the sense like you can make whatever experiments you want so later on you can make this experiment also you can apply a check mark you can check it what is the logic behind that but initially i'll tell you initially don't apply the check mark or else it is going to confuse you now so this is what this is how we have to define the number range and what is the use of nr status already explained what is the use of external assignment that also i have explained so if i if i don't apply the check mark then what does it mean guys it means this is called internal assignment In, internal assignment means like uh, the number range document number is going to be generated by system automatically if you apply a check mark then what is happening guys document number user has to give manually while posting the transactions this is what the difference is guys okay so what we have done we have defined the number range and we have saved it also and number range is not required to assign with the company code why because look at here initially itself the assignment is happened right if you click on back button the number range which i have created against the comp against this company code itself so assignment happened here itself right so no need to go for separate assignment because the company code against company code itself we are creating this number range okay so that's all that's all about this number range guys that's all in this system.